Get rid of that dirt. Get rid of that dirt. I'm clear this all off. God, what is it with OCD in Minecraft? Doesn't everyone have that? I think everyone does. I think it has to do with the blocky nature. If you guys see my live stream, you heard me say that. But I think it's because, you know, it's like a perfect square. But you always want everything else to be a perfect square. Just to, like, match and be similar and whatnot. This way nothing stands out. So I think as humans, you know, we all try to blend in. Like, no matter what we do, whenever we try to, like, wear certain hairstyles, you know, we always try to get the most up-to-date hairstyle. Whenever we try to get the clothes, it's always got to be month up-to-date. Like, we always try to blend. I think that's one of our things. So we all look for... Why am I not picking up this dirt? Or am I? I am. I didn't even notice. I was, like, sitting here complaining, like, God, where's the dirt? I thought I had full inventory. But I don't. Everything's all good. Oh, let's sprint home. How much cobblestone we have? Uh, pretty decent amount. We'll see how many roofs we can build. Roofs. 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 God, there's so many ways. Different ways to pronounce things, too. That's another thing. That's one thing why I think I wouldn't never be good with the foreign language. Like, no matter how many foreign languages I want to learn. Like, Russian's one that I want to learn. I don't... I think I want to learn German, but I'm not too sure. Then, you know, French. That's pretty cool. I like French. You know, I was about to say something insulting by asking whether or not someone had a language. But... Of course they do. But God, thinking to it, you know, and it's it's like a weird thing after watching like so many movies and like so many different things. Like you forget that there's like another language but English. Because you watch like a French movie and like the people are speaking English. You forget, you're about to ask like, hey, is, you know, they're fr do French speak another language? Yeah, that's right, they do. It's called French. <laughs> and I was about to ask, you know, like, hey, do Scottish people have their language? Yeah, it's called Scottish. Because <laughs> so when you think about, you know, um, the British back in, you know, the colonial days. Well, I guess colonial really only applies to America, does it? I don't even know. Back, you know, during the invading, you know, Indians or India? God, is that the same thing? Like, people from India, do you call them Indians? I don't even know. Like, that's, cause, you know, Indians are kind of known for America. But Native Americans are kind of like the polit politically correct thing to say. I hate politically correct. That's always so stupid. God, I hate politically correct. It's such a stupid concept. Like, you don't want to offend anyone, like, ever. Like, really. It's kind of the point of life. Like, we've all done effed up stuff. Like, if you're if you're really trying to be politically correct, then you're always trying to, like, avoid, like, saying racial stuff. But even racial stuff could be, like, the most simple of a stuff. Like, calling an African-American person black, like, really? That's, that's racial? So what? I can't call that white dude over there white because that offends him? Or the Mexican dude brown? Well, I don't even know. I don't even think you do call anyone brown. Like, oh, that was actually one thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that's racist, but um, I honestly thought there was only like three colors to people. Like, I only thought there was like white, brown, and then black people. Like, I didn't even know. Like, like when they started, <laughs> the first time that I learned that the Asian people were called yellow was from the president's address where there was like black people could finally get along white people could do this brown people could do this whether you're yellow you can be my best fella look I was like yellow who the hell is yellow and then I learned that like that's my dad you know who's yellow like who the f is yellow and he's yeah that's uh that's kind of the slang thing for Asians what I didn't even know this <laughs> I learned about a racial thing from the president's address <laughs> and I actually learned from the media that apparently the the redskins is a racial thing i didn't even know apparently um african americans were called red like i thought they were like a different shade of brown like i honestly thought this stuff like i'm learning from racial stuff from people who are trying not to be racial it's the funniest shit <laughs> like oh god i hope i'm not offending people but ah who the f cares like honestly like <laughs> I'm not a racist person. I truly am not. Like, there's people who are like, dude, I'm Mexican too. Like, what do you want me to do? Give you a round of applause that you're the same ethnicity as me? It doesn't matter what race you are. In all honesty, I could give a shit less. Uh, I try not to swear, but you know, sometimes I just gotta be me. Sometimes I just gotta swear. <laughs> I love that. I love that when people are like, so big on race. Who gives a crap dude we're all humans like that's the bigger thing that i focus on like i'd rather you actually care about nationalities than race themselves i well do races go into nationalities i don't even know or is nationalities a part of race like um if you what i'm basically talking about and i think for the rain reason why i said that is because i live in america you know we were so diverse but and people like oh yeah black people the best or white people the best or mexicans the best or whatever the hell you want to cheer but when I'm thinking about stuff, I think, you know, root for America. Stop bashing on America if you live in America. I understand, you know, we all have our problems and whatnot. 
But God, at least don't bash the home team, if that makes sense at all. But, eh, maybe not. I don't even know if nationalities are, like, considered a race. But, God, I don't even know the subdivision of, like, racial stuff. That's how, much, that's how much I care about race, is I don't even know how it's divided up into whether or not, you know, everyone from Africa is black, or whether or not, you know, saying, oh, you know, America's rule, or, you know, French people suck, that if you're, like, you're bashing a race or something. I don't even know. I don't even care. But on all this thing, I don't even care about politics or what race you are. It doesn't really matter to me. You're all people. Either you're a shitty person or you're, you know, you're not. That's that's the way I look at it. You know, who cares? It, it's non-observation. Your skin color means absolutely crap to me. Um, <laughs> I learned about racial stuff from freaking news and from the president's address. <laughs> uh, awesomeness. Like... <laughs> And all honestly, if everyone seriously wants to get past, you know, race and everything, stop bringing it up. That's the best way. Like, if you think about, um, oh, what's that movie? It was so good. Or, I don't know if it was good, but I enjoyed watching it. It made me think about stuff, so I liked it. Um, it wouldn't have to do, you know, with the blind chick, you know, the, the uh, scary movie made fun of it. I think it was Scary Movie 4, it was like the town, you know, they were all there, they were living in secrecy, there were monsters, but they weren't really monsters. They were all just, you know, the elders trying to make a different community. And it turns out that, you know, they weren't living like in the 1980s. It was actually just everyone was hush-hush about what happened on the outside world. And that's the way I look about it. You know, our generations, our kids, even though, you know, most of us are kids, you know, hell, I'm still 20, I'm still somewhat of a kid. There's people who are six years old, you know, three times my age. So I still consider myself somewhat of a kid because it's not like I owe everything. I know everything and I have some great wisdom. But... I think if you really want to get rid of, like, racism and all this other kind of stuff, stop bringing it up. Stop bringing it up, you know, like, oh, that kid's black, you know, don't say that he's black because, you know, that's a racial thing. But, oh, that's another thing that I was going to get into. The thing about, you know, the black. What do you say about Jamaicans? Like, people from Jamaica. What do you say about that? You know, they're not African Americans. And I think I've heard this from one of my buddies who actually is Jamaican. Like, he's almost somewhat offended when you say African American because he's not from Africa. He's from Jamaica. So he's like, what the F, dude? And the, when you say that, when you think about it, that's, that even more racist because, like, people always say, or not people always say, but, um, you know, the racial thing, all oh, black people look alike, or all white people look alike, or all Mexicans look alike, that thing. Like, I think if you F that up, like, you call someone from Jamaica, like, African-American, like, oh, God, you know, now you just really admitted, you know, all oh, you people look like you're from the same country. Like, God, that's even worse. And that's, uh, that's what he said to me, too. Um, he said, that's way the way he thinks about it. Like, wow, you really can't tell us apart. But... <laughs> That's why I just, yeah, I don't know, racism. I, I might get a message or two about that, but I'm not a racist person, in all honesty. I know people are racist, but, nah, it's not a big deal to me. Most of the time when I see racist people or when people are racist or anyone that I know is racist, and they say, oh, yeah, F this ethnicity or whatever it may be, I go, yeah, 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 and shrug my shoulders, you know, just so I don't get them wild up and say, no, you burn in hell, you demon. Because then they get into, you know, more racist tangents, and, like, it's the same thing where it's, like, you just, you pat the bear on the head, let him shrug off with your fish, and you let him go. You know what I mean? Just F it. Just let him say what they're going to say. It doesn't really matter. It's not really going to affect me. I mean, if that makes sense at all. I don't know. Racism. Ah, oh, touchy subject, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Why should it be a touchy subject? It should only be a touchy subject. If we're freaking... It's... Uh, I don't want to say is anyone racist anymore, because that stuff's still out there, but... I don't know. In my everyday life, it's not like I run into racism. Not at all. But maybe it runs into a lot of other people's. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I don't know. Who knows anymore? <sighs> you know, I'm kind of glad I'm not as big as those bigger guys. Because probably just talking about racism would probably give me like a whole bunch of hate. It's like, how dare you? You don't know the plight of my people. Really? Oh, that's another thing. That's another God, I'm trying to avoid the racism talk, and I'm still going on about it. Is people are like, oh, you don't understand the plight of my people, you know, whether whatever ethnicity you are. And I'm like, oh, you don't know how hard it is to be me. We're all ethnicities. We're all different, you know, I was about to say species. <laughs> God, I'm effed up. <laughs> Brain farting, talking all about racist stuff probably may not be the best idea to do it. But, dude, there is racism and whatnot. People go through different stuff. But to say that you don't understand racism or that you've never experienced it is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Uh, no, I don't even get into too much into it because it might be effed up to say or it might be wrong to say or this or that. But mm, I won't get into it. I'll kind of end it there. But no more racist talk. I uh, better probably put a torch down in here because nothing spawns. 
Chuka -chuka. Check out this place. And place the torch. Well, there we go. Huh. What else to talk about? God, I talked about a lot this episode. Talked about movies. Talked about racist stuff. Talked about me losing my YouTube channel because I talked about racist stuff. <laughs> uh. hmm. Kind of like it when I go into tangents because then I get to hear. Well, I enjoy talking. Well, I enjoy talking about stuff that I have an opinion on. But if like we start talking about like NASCAR or football, it's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't really follow that stuff, nor do I really care about it that much. Ah, I guess that's another thing, like the pride, you know, have respect for the home team, whatever you are. I don't even know what my home teams are, though. <laughs> I, always try to, I always try to keep that motto. Like, um, whatever you are, wherever you are, whatever is, like, the, the local thing. Like, whether or not you're, like, whatever high school you're going to, God, I don't even know what they call it in Europe. But whatever school you go to, show some pride in wherever you go. Because if you shit on your place, then you're accepting that, you know, your shit, if that makes sense at all. If you're like, oh, F America, you know, because I live in America. And you're like, oh, you know, our president's stupid, oh, this, that, the other thing. Oh, we're all idiots here. Oh, we're all fat slubs and everything. If you're saying we're all fat slubs and we all suck and, you know, this whole country sucks, then you're saying you suck. And you're shitting on yourself when you bash, you know, whatever part, whatever thing you're a part. That's like saying, you know, going to your home and saying, oh, my dad is stupid. My mom is stupid. This whole family's a bunch of idiots. We're all inbreds or something. You know what I mean? You're, you're shitting on yourself, dude. It's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Don't shit on yourself. That's a monkey's tip for the day. Shitting on yourself, not very pleasant. You get smushy, smelly, and all white uncomfortable. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. And there's a freaking bunny in my house that I didn't allow. Get out of my house. That's the way we do it. Jumping, jumping, jumping for days. Going to my place, gonna kill some people. <laughs> just not seeing the house spawn in yet, just seeing the floating torches are freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, floating torches. Okay, cool. I was thinking like for a split second because I looked up and I seen all the light in the mini map. I was like, wait, is it daytime? I was like, oh wait, no, it is going nighttime. I remember. <laughs> Got it back. Hey little Bobby. Hey little Bobby. Master Trooby. Mm, man, we're nearly done. Hopefully, I'm done. God, I haven't even thought about it. How close are we to finish up these houses? I don't even know. Come on. Come on. Oop. Hoopla. It's about a lot of hoopla. Ugh. You know, guys, I'll be right back. I am going to get some food, and I shall end the recording here, or continue on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll dip. Cut. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, just wanted to quickly check to see whether or not my audio recorded because last time, you know, I got cut off for like, God, uh, 20 minutes or so and it sucked. Uh, had to check that. Um, anyways, wow, we've been recording for a little bit. So we'll finish up. I don't even know. We'll see how much we can get done right now. And then uh, we'll cut it. Finish up the cobblestone. Okay, come on. I just kind of wanted to, you know, finish once again, you know, kind of like not half-assed thing in me. I kind of want to finish up these houses this way, you know, when we find the Ender Dragon and if we end of the world, I could be like, yes, I finished those houses. They're not just like half undone houses out there. <laughs> we finished all the houses successful this. Okay, there we go. And finish up. Bam. Oh, wait, uh, I still need to put the torches in. I don't know whether I put them in these houses. Have I? Houses. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Oh, we're starving. I think it's from all the jumping that we do. <laughs> we do a lot of jumping. Finish and four. Jackpot. Get that cobblestone done. Come on, little cobblestone. Ooh, watch out. Oh no. There we go. Whoa. Oh no. Don't don't fall. There we go. Uh huh. Finish up the coal. Gotta get that. <laughs> Every single time I say gotta get that, I always think back to that song. God, it's just, dude, that's, <laughs> there's few things in this world that are just like permanently burnt into your head to when you hear. Just like, I'm a big boy now. Boop. Just like, there's some things that are just burnt into your head for like the rest of your life. And most of them are like catchy little jingles, which just suck so bad. And then you just want to say them every single time you hear it. Like, <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. <laughs> just, <freaking laughs> just a few, few of them, few jingles. 
just stuff that are just in your head and you have to repeat. Um, now I'm trying to think of all the things that are like permanently stuck in my head that I never think about until it's like said or uh, oh dang it that are uttered and then you have to repeat it. Um, there's always that what she said. That's that's a pretty. And it's not even like a jingle. That's just like permanently burnt into your head because it's said so much and it's been used so much. Uh, oh god, what else is there? Um, Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I know there's so many of them, but I can't even think of them right now. There's so many little things that are just freaking scarred into my brain that I'm not remembering right now because I've been scarred so much. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. <laughs> God, now that's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. I'm going to be saying that. Watch, when I'm playing the game, if you're playing with me today when I'm recording this, <laughs> I'm going to be saying that. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. God, it's stuck in my head. Why do you have to make such catchy <laughs> jingles? <laughs> Oh, God, it sucks. It sucks. Uh, Jack in the Box, what is their thing? What is Jack in the Box's jingle? Put a smile on it? I don't even know. Um, now I'm trying to think of all the Jack in the Box commercials I've ever seen. Open late night? Oh, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know their slogan. Burger King says, have it your way. Subway... Eat fresh, Quiznos, mmm, warm and toasty. Um, what else is there? Papa John's, um, better. No, no, no. What is it? Um, better ingredients, better pizzas. Papa John's, just that one. Domino's. I don't even know Domino's. They've been switching up stuff so much lately. Let me know what their stuff is. Um, I haven't seen anything from Pizza Hut. God, I haven't seen any of those guys' commercials in a while. Little Caesars. God, dude, I miss... Oh, I think Little Caesars is um, Pizza Pizza. Yum, yum. I grew up with Little Caesars. That was my... Uh, that was the only pizza town where I grew up at. It was the only pizza place, Little Caesars. I'm still slightly addicted to their breadsticks because I grew up with them. You know, kind of like if your mom makes you like a secret pie or like, um, like cupcakes or something. Like you'll always forever be addicted to it because you grew up eating that stuff. You grew up with that one single taste, and it all tastes good. Like my buddy, um, Ghost Rider, he absolutely loves KFC. And even though there's a Church's Chicken buy, and you know, I actually like Church's Chicken's, um, trying to think of it, biscuits better. He still loves KFC because that's what he grew up on. He grew up, you know, with his family. And growing up doesn't mean that, you know, you ate it every single day for your entire childhood. Growing up on it means, you know, maybe it was at a special occasion, you know. After going to church, you know, you guys all went to, you know, Little Caesars. Or, you know, once a week you guys went out or something. You know, growing up on it is just something, you know, where on occasion. Or just as a family event, you guys went to this place. And that's what I mean. Um, by growing up on it. Not eating it every single freaking day. Because it's not like I lived off freaking... Little Caesars. My parents were actually pretty big health nuts. Well, my mom was a health nut. Uh, during the beginning, I think. During the beginning, when my dad's industry was doing good, like we would go out. I don't want to say pretty often, but maybe like once a week to like an actual dinner where you sit down. And it was pretty cool. But um, I think about when I was about like mm, eight, I would say my mom started becoming a health nut with exercise videos and everything. When that happened, you know, the fast food kind of stuff just kind of stopped. Because, it, oh, not exactly stopped, but it slowly started halting because slowly but surely if we ever tried to take her out anywhere, she would get the salads or whatever. Like if we were to go to Little Caesars, like she would order the Caesar salad bare minimum with, you know, all the other little stuff that makes a Little Caesar salad out of it. This way, you know, she can keep her calories or carbs or whatever the hell she was counting at that certain time. And eventually, you know, it was kind of ruining it because, you know, as we're all sitting here, you know, eating pizza, you know, like once a week, you know, the breadsticks and everything, she's just sitting there eating a little salad. But, yeah. Oh, Incredible John's. Yeah, Incredible John's. That was, that was a really rare treat, going to Incredible John's. That was something that we did not do very often. And it was super freaking awesome. That was that was an awesome treat. Um, Chuck E. Cheese. That was something. That was even... No, I think we went to Chuck E. Cheese not as often, but it wasn't as something that it was, like, as exciting for me. I liked Little John's a lot more because, you know, they had the unlimited pizza and whatnot. So I enjoyed Little John's a lot more than I did Chuck E. Cheese's. But it was still a pretty cool place. There's actually um, a picture of me and my sister that went from, well, went to Chuck E. Cheese's, like, um, up on the wall where all our 
picture memorabilia stuff is. If you guys have that wall in your house, you guys know what I'm talking about. Ah, the wall of family memories. But, yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to remember all the other little places that are, like, somewhat memorable to me that are, like, family related. Ah, oh, God, what is there? What did we used to do as a kid? Oh, there was, um, eventually a Pizza Hut that moved in, but that was, like, towards the end once me and my dad moved away to down the hill where we are now. But that was towards the end, so we didn't get to go. I remember the very first time we went to Pizza Hut that uh, opened up in our town. It took three hours to get a pizza. Like, that's how long. It was three hours long because there were so many people there. There were so many people ordering for delivery that they were backed up that much. And, you know, in all honesty, we were kind of just accepting of it. We were kind of like, oh, okay, you know, uh, first day opening and whatnot. I guess in that town, since it was so small, um... It was, like, a widespread area. Like, the town, because we lived in the desert, it was everywhere, you know. The town was freaking huge, but there wasn't exactly everything. There was, like, a little epicenter of, like, little stuff. Like, um, I threw my stuff. I'm trying to size it with my hands right now, but you guys can't see my hands. Um, <laughs> there was literally, like, a little cluster. God, still showing my hands. Taking my hands off the keyboard. There was a little cluster of, um, stores and stuff. Like, there was the Stater Brothers. There was a Rite Aid, a Radio Shack. Um you know, just little stuff nearby, you know, the, the little Caesars, there was a little bit of stuff in there. Everywhere else you had to travel like plus 10 miles to go anywhere to go to like a Walmart or to go to, um, let's say like a Target or anything like that. We had to travel pretty far. So when this Pizza Hut actually opened up, we were all kind of conditioned to actually waiting for a long time because there was actually only one town doctor. Walking in, it was anywhere between three to five hours to see the doctor, bare minimum. Like it was just conditioned to be that way. That's that's the way I grew up on seeing a doctor is five hours. And if you had an appointment, it was an hour to two hours. Like that was the difference. That's what we grew up on for waiting to go see the town doctor. So the three hours for a pizza was somewhat acceptable. Plus we had like three pizzas on the way. So like we were still pretty hungry. It was um interesting, interesting. Like nowadays, you know, not nowadays, like I'm still expecting to be immediately rushed anywhere. I can still understand, you know, rush service and all that kind of good stuff. But it's it's a different thing. Now, you know, people are like, God, you know, I waited in line for 30 minutes. How dare they make me wait for 30 minutes? I'm like, dude, really? I used to wait, you know, like four hours to go see the doctor. <laughs> and, oh, God, I remember when I had my head sliced open, they gave me a rag and pushed pressure on it. And it was like 45 minutes later when I seen the doctor, when I slipped my head open. Like, <laughs> God, even in an emergency, in an emergency, it was like a 45-minute wait. It was awesome. But, dude, Dr. Gill, that was the doctor's name. That dude got bank off of us. He was, like, the only one in town that had, like, a Hummer. Like, when Hummers were really popular, you know, way back when, when they first came out. He had a Hummer, dude. He had, like, all this expensive stuff. He was he was the only town doctor. Could you imagine that, like, being only town doctor? Like, you get so much money from that. Uh, Dr. Gale, uh, Dr. Gill. And then I think my next doctor was Dr. Fagan, which is kind of funny. And these, those two names, like, sound similar to me. Because I guess, you know, they were my doctors. Dr. Fagan and Dr. Um, Gill. God, Dr. Gill. Mm, that's, uh, that's old school stuff right there. And it was a small little waiting room and everything. People waited outside for this. People waited in their cars. <laughs> like, it was, it was a wait. Everyone accepted the wait. <laughs> ah, fond childhood memories. Whatever shall we not do with you? God, is there any other little... I'm trying to think if there's any other little places where I'm like, yeah, that's that's something. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we dug into a cave. Not oh, cool. Can't really think of anything else that is like a store or anything where I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's family stuff. Like Little, little Caesars, John's Incredible Pizza, there's that. I don't know why I said Little John's because I guess I combined John's Incredible Pizza and little Caesars into the same place. They gave birth to the store. It's incredibleness. But anyways. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. I th thought I seen something weird. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Misclick. Misclicking. <sighs> oh, well, we finished off that. We're going to start off that one. That was enjoyable. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to finish up the rest of these houses maybe off camera and we'll see what we do. Man, we're going to have to prep for that freaking fight. Oh, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited to fight that Ender Dragon. That's going to be awesome. 
oh, that's really cool, but I gotta get this video recording and, well, I already recorded I'm recording right now! What am I talking about recording? But I gotta get it rendered and uploaded, because, God, what time is it? Oh, uh, it takes, like, these videos, um, I'm just gonna walk and talk back home, because I'm not truly ready to end this. These videos is, like, a four-hour process, because it's, like, 45 minutes to render, because these usually are, like, 30 to 25 minutes on, and they're in 1080p, you know, pretty high quality, somewhat. I like to think they're in high quality, you know, they could be better, all the kind of stuff. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, so they take a while to render, like, 45 minutes, and, you know, there's still the editing to find where you need to split them up, and then after you're done with that, you need to upload them, and YouTube, it takes, like, 45 minutes to an hour to upload, and then the process is anywhere between, like, 45 minutes to, like, an hour and, like, 10 minutes. That's how long the processing time. So, like, getting all this stuff done, like, to get it up at noon or 1 o'clock when I try to, I need to get it done by 9, and it's... Let's see what time it is. What time is it? Oh, God, it's 8.40 right now. Looking at it. Oh, so I gotta end this. Ah, a bucket jacket, guys. I gotta end it here, or else I won't make the time. A bucket jacket, that's all I got, guys. Peace!